YouTube, welcome back to another Crush Shots video. Today, how to get the 10 upper clean kills with iron sights equipped to a recommended marksman rifle in Modern Warfare 3. Now, we're going to complete this in one game, literally one minute, super, super fast, okay? First of all, you need to use a recommended marksman rifle, KVD, or the CAR-98, because they have the fire symbol right next to their name. That's what a recommended weapon is. Now, iron sights equipped, that just means no optic equipped, okay? Do not equip an optic, and you will have the iron sights equipped. I know that's terrible wording on the developer's part, but that's what it means. Just have no optic equipped. All right, simple enough. And then we move on. Recommended playlist, 100% play hardcore, maybe small at mosh pit if you like, but 100% play hardcore. And I'm gonna tell you why. All right, now that we know what iron sights are, what are clean kills? Clean kills are when you kill an enemy before they damage you. So notice how I got four kills here, but I only got three clean kills because the first guy that I killed damaged me first, okay? So essentially, just kill people before they damage you and have iron sights on, right? No optic, and as you can see, literally just get kills on hardcore and you will complete this challenge within a minute. Uh, the game, like, literally just started. It's TDM, already completed. Just get kills on hardcore and you'll eventually get 10 clean kills. Super easy. Make sure to like and sub. It's my birthday. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Crush Shot video. Today, five oh. upper kills while sliding or midair with the Jack Scimitar aftermarket part equipped to the FJX Horus. Lots of words there. It's not that bad. I promise you'll complete this in one simple game. First off, FJX Horus, some machine gun. Here we go. Convergent kit, uh, the Scimitar kit. If you do not have this, okay, you can obtain this from week three of season four. I have all the videos for these challenges on my channel, so if you need help, go search those up. Now that we have the aftermarket part equipped, it's, I mean, you could put whatever else you want to put on. I recommend playing hardcore for this challenge, and I'll show you why. So if you are, I recommend anything that gives you ADS speed or sprint to fire speed, okay? Now, for people that don't know what midair kills are or sliding kills, there's parts for you, okay? You're going to try midair kills or kills while you get while shooting and you kill people while you're in midair. Okay, so you need to jump. So it's gonna look something like this, right? You're gonna just shoot while you're jumping, okay? So in hardcore, it'd be something like that, right? Obviously, it'd kill faster in hardcore, but this is the, you know, firing range, okay? For sliding kills, a little bit different. For If you don't know how to slide, if you're sprinting, you just press B, your slide button, okay? And then you just start shooting while you're sliding, okay? Not bad, right? Fairly simple. So now, we can go back, and then the playlist I recommend is Hardcore, filter for just small map mosh pit, and then just queue up a match. And I'm going to show you clips of how I did it, but like I said, you guys will literally complete this in like 30 seconds. It's super, super easy as always. Make sure to like and sub if you found this useful, and it's my birthday. So thank you guys for always supporting. Sorry, my bad. What's up, everyone on the Crow Show channel? Today, we got three opera kills with one magazine five times using recommended handguns in Modern Warfare 3. All right, so first things first, recommended handgun that is either the Renetti or the Basilisk. Basilisk, all right? I'm going to go with the Renetti because obviously I have that leveled up. Here are my attachments if you want to copy them. I highly recommend two things here, two things. One is to put on these high grain rounds for that extra damage and bullet velocity, and then also a 24 round mag to increase your mag just a little bit, just in case you are struggling to hit your shots, you're not as accurate. This gives you a little bit of leeway for that, all right? And now if you want, you can combine this with the other challenges so you can put an akimbo on for one thing, so that's a rear grip. If you want, you can put the akimbo on, or if you want a silencer, this would be a muzzle, suppressor is a muzzle, and any of these that have suppressor in their name, that will count, okay? So completely up to you guys. Other than that, um, you can, I use the riot shield for that just extra damage protection in a hardcore, and then if you want like a field upgrade for deployable cover, if you want to camp a little bit, commando gloves are great because improved sprint to fire is huge, all right? So knowing that, let's go into hardcore, let's queue up a small map mosh pit game, try and get a small map, and let's talk strategy. Make sure to like and sub too. All right, everyone, so the strategy is fairly simple. When you're playing small maps, you're just going to catch people when they're spawning. And as you're doing the other pistol challenges, this challenge is just going to complete itself for the most part. Uh, I'm clearly doing the akimbo challenge here. 
and I got two out of five for this challenge. Then I actually switched to focusing on this challenge. And as you can see, I'm trying to play slow, getting behind them in their spawn. I'm sliding around corners. I'm pre-aiming. That's what you need to do. Get behind in their spawn, catch some spawning. See how I'm going slow. I'm going to slide around. I'm pre-aiming. I'm going slow. That's what you're looking for. However, you're not going to get it every time. Okay. No one's perfect. I'm not perfect. You're going to get two kills. You're going to die. It is what it is. All right. But in this clip specifically, this is really good. I do miss a few rounds here. And this really shows you how important that little extra, um, the magazine being 21 rounds instead of 15 helps a lot. And this is me just completing the last one. Again, get one kill, push up into their spawn, slide around, frame everything. And you should complete this fairly easily. All right. So let me know if you need more help. I'm always here to I'm always here for you guys. So thank you for supporting. Love you guys. It's my birthday. Thank you all. Appreciate you. Have a good one. What's going on YouTube today? We're talking about how to get the 10 upright kills with recommended handguns in Modern Warfare 3. Super, super easy. Let's get started. First things first, must use a recommended handgun. So that's either the Renetti or the Basilisk. Okay, so I'm using the Renetti. I have it fully leveled up and everything. Attachments completely up to you. Technically, you could combine like all of these handgun challenges. That's up to you, but I like to split them up so people can search them, find them easily if they're doing this at a different week, etc. Okay, for the clean kill challenge, this is super, super simple. A clean kill, listen to me closely, listen to me closely. A clean kill is when you kill an enemy before they damage you. So if you simply just go up to an enemy and just literally just kill them like that without taking damage, that is a clean kill, okay? Super, super simple. So what I recommend in order to get clean kills in like literally one minute, super, super easy, just play hardcore, small map mosh pit, okay? That's what I always recommend in all of my clean kill videos on my channel. Please play hardcore. I'm just gonna play clips. There's not really much to explain. Just take your pistol, kill people in hardcore, and you will get these 10 clean kills within a minute, okay? Make sure to like and sub. It's my birthday. Thank you all so much for your support. I love you guys. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another Crush Shots video. Today, easy 25 oh. operator Kimbo kills with a recommended weapon in Modern Warfare 3. Super, super easy. Let's get right to it. So first of all, you need a weapon that can use a Kimbo. So first of all, the Renetti is a great option. You can equip it for the rear grip. Now, this is the only current one that I know that is recommended. If you have any others that you know of, please put them in the comments down below to help other people. Please remember, needs to be recommended, okay? Please feel free to help everyone out. So if you have an akimbo, simply all we're going to do, in my opinion, easiest way to do this is to just play hardcore, get a small map, and then just spray people with your akimbos, get 25 kills, super, super easy, super, super easy. There doesn't need to be much explanation, all right? So I'm just going to show you guys clips. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and supporting. Love you. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. How to get 15 oh. opera kills with a suppressed recommended handgun in Modern Warfare 3. Now I'm going to show you how to complete this in one simple game. Super fast, super, super easy. So make sure you're using a recommended handgun that's denoted by the fire symbol right next to the gun name. So that's either the Renetti or the Basilisk. If you're watching this in week 8, the pistols for recommended uh, weapon might be a little bit different. So make sure you're using that, okay? So Renetti and then the suppressor aspect is a muzzle. You must equip a muzzle that has the word suppressor in it. Simple enough, right? You can choose one of these four. 
I, w I went with the Sonic Suppressor. You can use whatever you want. And this is the rest of my cloud setup. I'm using an Optic simply because I'm working on headshots. If I wasn't using the headshots, I probably wouldn't have it equipped. Okay, so nothing too crazy. Just equip a muzzle that has the word suppressor in it. And then in my opinion, you go to Hardcore Quick Play, Small Map Mosh Pit, and just start killing people, get 15 kills, and you'll be done. I'm gonna show you some clips of just things that I did, and that's it. So make sure to like and sub. Hope you're all doing great. It's my birthday. Thank you all for the love and support. I appreciate you guys. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another how-to video. Today, we're talking about how to get 20 headshot kills with recommended handguns in Modern Warfare 3. Of course, I'm gonna show you how to complete this in one game. You guys know the drill. We will be playing hardcore ship pause 24 seven or small bit mosh pit, whatever you prefer, that's up to you. However, I personally recommend ship pause 24 seven and filtering for just hardcore shipment. And as always, I post these videos all the time for you guys. So if you appreciate my work and you still aren't subbed yet, please consider doing so. And let's get into it. All right, pay attention because it is class of time. You know me, gonna give you the best class setup possible. Now, first things first, you must use a recommended handgun. That is either the Renetti or the WSB Stinger. However, if you're watching this in week eight, the recommended handguns might be different. So make sure you're using a weapon that has the fire symbol right above the weapon name, okay? Now I'm going with the Renetti because I think the Renetti is best for this. The Stinger it has terrible recoil, terrible iron sights, and you can't equip an optic to it. So the Renetti is gonna be the best for this challenge. Now here are the attachments copy it keep all these attachments these are all great they worked very well for me the one thing you might change is the optic whatever one you prefer go into the firing range choose which one you ever like which one you like best that's up to you now right shield's great because hardcore gets super hectic and in my case it did help a lot so i do recommend it deployable cover if you think you will be camping more than running around that's up to you i think that's great quick grip gloves so you can swap between the pistol and the right shield super fast so that's helpful stalker boots tactical pads covert sneakers whatever you want gear whatever you want here as well all right so let's talk strategy all right everyone let's talk strategy we have a few things to go over okay so pay attention first things first is your crosshair placement meaning where you're putting your reticle when you're aiming in should be at headshot level 24 7 so when an enemy crosses your line of sight you're already shooting at their head now sometimes they'll slide under it or you just miss that happens okay it's not perfect however just mainly mainly aim for the head 24 7. now when you die like i just did here sometimes enemies aren't looking at you like that really take that extra millisecond to aim at the head so you can get a free headshot the third thing is you guys should be playing kill confirmed hard point domination do not play tdm it's too short of a game mode if you play those three game modes i mentioned on shipment they will last so much longer and you will have more chances for headshots now if you want to use a mount or a deployable cover you certainly can as i'm showing here unfortunately i just missed the headshots but the idea is there you certainly can't do it but that's simply it if you guys need more help with headshots i'll put a video on screen right now that's more in depth so please check that out and i'll see you next one make sure to subscribe Bye bye